What's up guys, Sam and back with another review. Today we are taking a look at the brand new DC Collectibles black and white statue based off of the art from Mark Silvestri. We have Batman sitting on a chair. This is probably one of my favorite black and white Batman statues and you'll see why in a second. So looking at the packaging, you have the front right here. It shows you a close up of Batman and you can see uh, DC Collectibles says direct from the source. Batman 80 years on the bottom right and you have this uh, little gold foil here. It says collectors direct from the source. On the top they have Batman black and white. On the side it says uh, numbered limited edition. You come to the back and it says Batman black and white by Mark Silvestri statue. Batman is famously known for his stealth ability to go unseen. He must be quiet and subtle to succeed. However, the latest statue in the Batman black and white line is anything but reserved. Batman based on art by Mark Silvestri, this Batman is imposing and bold. He rests in the chair in the Batcave that feels almost throne-like. It really does. Uh, this thing just looks fantastic. We got other figures from the line. I do plan on picking up the second edition of the Joker who laughs, the Batman who laughs, I should say. And they're finally going to be coming out with an armored Batman based off of the Dark Knight Returns. So super excited for that. It says this here measures... 5.9 inches so enough yapping let's go ahead and take the figure out of the box see if he's a pickup or pass all right guys here we have the statue outside of the package and i don't even know what to say man this guy just looks amazing let's go ahead and start with the base so you have on the bottom you have your uh your typical batman black and white statue you can see you know you have the batman emblem Half of it is white, the other side is black, so it's cool that they still added the base. On the bottom, this is number 3,591 out of 5,000. Look at this though. You have the full cape on the bottom of the base, and that's what I want to get into is just how great the sculpting is on the cape. And you can see it drapes all over the floor, but I just want to get a close-up so you guys can see just how crazy this cape is like the sculpting on it is awesome and i mean this is a huge cape i don't think we've ever seen batman i will actually i would like to see batman live action with a cape this huge i think it would actually look pretty pretty cool uh you have the back of the the chair and you can see it does have the batman logo on the back so let's go ahead and start off with the head sculpt so you guys can take a close look at batman that looks great I like the look that he's giving. It's almost kind of like an angry look. The um, ears are very sharp. Now, you got to be careful with some of these black and white statues because these, uh, you know, the ears can break off and especially the gauntlets. So you have his gauntlets right over here. And these are actually pretty sharp, but they can break easy. So just be careful with that. My Batman Beyond one, uh, they broke off fairly easy. Um, and he's got a lot of, now I'm not so sure if the hand is supposed to look the way it does. But you can see there's a lot of little white spots on there and some like chips as well or like I don't know it almost looks like it's battle damage. I actually like how that looks to be honest with you. And then you have his um, you can see the fingernails there. You have the hand rest or the arm rests on the bottom of the chair. It looks like there's probably some buttons on there as well. Uh, you have the cape draping over the shoulders. You can still see the massive deltoids and traps. And then you have the Batman logo. I love the emblem there. You have the uh, muscular part of Batman here, the upper body, the abs, the chest. You have his utility belt, his um, underwear, and the muscular legs. You can see his quads, and then you have the lower part of the legs. I like how his feet are kind of, they're not fully flat on the floor, but you can see the boots on there. I mean, they just knocked it out of the park with this guy. And then you can see the detailing on the cape there on this side as well. And then I'll show you guys the gauntlets on this one. Get you guys another close look at the head sculpt. I don't know why, but this kind of resembles to me uh, like um, Michael Keaton. I'm getting a, a very big Michael Keaton vibe from this figure. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but that's the kind of vibe I am getting from this guy. And there you have it, guys. There's my quick little look today. We're taking a look at the brand new DC Collectibles by designed by Mark Silvestri. I think this is one of my, if not my favorite black and white statue that I own. I would say like my top three that I own. Um, I really like the Alex Ross one. I love my Batman Beyond one. And I do like the zombie Batman as well. But I think this one here 
probably is going to take the number one spot. I mean, it is just loaded with a lot of detail. I love this. And, then, you know, just having Batman, like, almost on a throne-like, uh, you know, like, display is just definitely, like, a, a really cool center piece to have in your Batman collection. But you guys in the comments below, let me know, is this guy a pickup? Is it a pass? I mean, if you guys plan on picking him up, picking him up or have him, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what your top five, if you own any Batman black and white statues are, what is your top five? Let me know down below. If you guys want to pick this up, I got this from BigBadToyStore.com. Feel free to use my link in the description down below. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Later. Who's going to kill you? Subscribe. Thanks.